Glory to Jesus. As some God is. Today is another wonderful episode of Goodness in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. You're welcome along with me. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for joining. Today is another wonderful episode. I mean, Sheriff, God bless you. You are welcome along with me. God bless everyone. Hallelujah. We Hallelujah. No fear. You are welcome along with me. God bless you. Glory to Jesus. Say for God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Everyone kindly join me to share the video and the Lord will bless you richly. Today is another awesome episode. Translate it later so that I will understand either Spanish or English. God bless you. God bless everyone. Thank you for joining. You are welcome along with me. share the video and the Lord will bless you richly today is another awesome moment in his presence the right see of goodness in Christ Jesus. Today's topic says, let hope be your rope. Hmm. Let hope be your rope. Glory to Jesus Christ. Right there in the fire of God man appeared. He was right there on time. He delivered him. He's never late. God is never late. Ahmad, God bless you. He's not a late God. He's never fed anyone I know. He's always on time. He's never late. No, no, he's not a late God. God is never late. No matter what you are going through, he's never late. He's right there with you. He's always there right on time. Hallelujah. Never late. He's always on time. God bless each and every one, Brother Collins. God bless you. 
God uplift you in the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone kindly join me to share the video and the Lord will bless you richly. Never late. God is never late. He's never late. Was never late for me. Never late. Never late. Always on time. Never late. God bless you. Good evening, Brother Collins. You are lifted. You are favored in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for joining. God bless each and everyone for joining. Please kindly join me to share the video. And the Lord will bless you richly because when you share the video, you are equally joining me to preach the gospel to the world. You are equally reaching out to the world. You are equally sharing the word of God. Hallelujah. Never late. God is never late. Never late. Don't ever give up. God is never late. He's never fail anyone I know. He is always on time. He's never late. No, no, he is not a late guy. Ooh. Hallelujah. Now welcome along with me. Kindly join me to share the video. And the Lord will bless you richly. Today is another awesome moment. Awesome, 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 awesome. You are welcome, you are welcome. God bless you, woman of God. I celebrate you, Prophet Evelyn. Thank you for joining. Today is another wonderful episode of Boldness in Christ Jesus. Another awesome moment in this present. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Strength and power is our God. He's mighty in this place. You are welcome, you are welcome. Kindly join me to share the video. He meant the broken heart. You can put your trust in him. The hand of God is on your life today. No devil can withhold the power of God. be his name he's the same yesterday today forever God is a rock blessed be his name he's the same can you join me to share the video and the Lord will bless you richly God is a The power of God is here. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. He will wipe away your tears. The hand of God is on your life today. No devil can withhold the power of God. Isaac, uh, man of God, I celebrate you. Thank you for joining. Blessed be his name. Everyone kindly join me to share the video and the Lord will bless you richly. Glory to God. God is our rock. Blessed be his name. He is the same yesterday, today, forever. God is our rock. Hallelujah. Solid rock, don't we wish there. You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. God bless you. Hey, what he did yesterday, he do much more today. What he did yesterday, he'll do much more for you today. He cost the blood of sea. And cause the lame to walk. Hallelujah. 
Today's episode says, today's episode of Boldness in Christ Jesus topic says, let hope be your rope. Let hope be your rope. Glory to Jesus Christ. Awesome, awesome. Blessed be his name. I celebrate you, Apostle of God, P. Joe. God bless you. Thank you for joining. I celebrate you, Apostle of God, Apostle Ben, Omar, Omar Robe. God bless you, man of God. I celebrate you. Thank you for joining. Today, forever. God is the rock. Kindly join me to share the video, each and every one. The Lord will bless you richly. Today's topic is a very powerful topic. It's my God bless you. Thank you for joining. Kali Bradosha. Today is an is awesome moment in this presence with a wonderful topic. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus. The topic says, let hope be your rope. Let hope be your rope. Glory to God. God is our rock. Our strong foundation. God is our rock. Hallelujah. God is a rock. You're welcome along with me. God bless you. God bless each and every one. Thank you for joining. Today is another awesome moment in his presence. Another wonderful episode of Boldness in Christ Jesus, which says, let hope be your rope. Let hope be your rope. Hallelujah to Jesus. Let hope be your rope. Before I go on, I would like us to. Amen, 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 amen. Man of God, amen. Glory to God. I like us to look at the definition of hope. Glory to God. Let us look at the definition of hope. I wrote it down, but I want to open it. I want to read it from Google. Hope. Never late. He's not a late come. Hallelujah. Gogo says hope means a feeling of expectation and desire for a particular thing to happen. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. Hope means a feeling of expectation and desire for a particular thing to happen. Hallelujah. Then I would like us to look at the meaning of rope. Because today's topic says, let hope be your rope. Glory to Jesus. And it says, a length of thick, strong cord made by twisting together strands of hip, steel, nylon, or similar material. Which means, when I say let your hope be your rope, let your hope be your rope, that means you must hold on to it. That means you holding on to, your, on, on to hope it's like you holding on to a rope. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Then out uh, the Bible verse that we are, I want us to look at this evening is Proverb, Proverbs chapter 23, verse 18. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. Proverbs 23, verse 18. It's a very popular verse in the Bible that we all know. Proverbs 23, verse 18 says, he said, for surely there is an end. Hallelujah to Jesus. Surely there is an end. And that expectation shall not be cut off. Hallelujah to Jesus. He says, surely there, for surely there is an end. And that expectation shall not be cut off. Glory to God. Surely there is an end to that issue that you are going through. Surely there is an end to that affliction. Surely there is an end to that soul. Surely there is an end to that barrier. Surely there is an end to that delay. Surely there is an end to that fear. 
Surely there is an end to that sickness. Surely there is an end to that injustice that you are going through. Surely there is an end to that criticism that you are going through. Surely there is an end to that scarcity that you are going through. Surely there is an end to that tears that you are wetting your pillow with every night. Surely there is an end to that marital issue that you are going through. Surely there is an end to that health issue. Surely there is an end to that ministerial issue that you are going through. Surely there is an end to that, car that career issue that you are going through. Surely there is an end to that business that removed to move that is causing you pains. Surely there is an end to that issue. I celebrate you, Apostle of God, Apostle Stacy. Thank you for joining. Tiana Omo, Tiana, God bless you. Thank you for joining. Thank you. I celebrate you, woman of God. The Bible says, surely there is an end. And the expectations of the of what? The exp, your ex, and he said, and thy expectations shall not be cut off. Glory to God in the highest. This place where we read in the Bible, I just pick out that place. If you read from the beginning of that chapter, you will see what the Bible is talking about. But I decided to pick out this place from the Bible because I want to expatiate on it. I want to talk on it, on this place. God bless you, Sister Sariyeme. God bless you, woman of God. I celebrate you. Thank you for joining. Please, everyone, kindly join me to share this video because a lot of people need to listen to this message. A lot of people need to listen to this message. A lot of people are going through one issue or the other. Many have given up. Some are about to give up. Some are at the, are at the point of making up their mind to say it's over. But I decide to come out this evening by the leading of the Holy Spirit to come and share this message which says, let hope be your rope. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. From where we read in Proverbs 28 verse 18. And it says, it says, surely there is an end and that expectation shall not be cut off. Glory to God. That is a promise from the most high God. That is a promise from Elohim. That is a promise from God to you and I. That is a promise from the mighty one of war. That is a promise from the consuming fire. That is a promise from the God that says, I am that I am. That is a promise from God that says, with, he said, with, with God, the Bible said, with God, all things are possible. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. It says, it says, surely there is an end. I don't know what you are going through in life right now, but I decided to come out this evening by the leading of the Holy Spirit to tell you what the Bible is, what the word of God says about you. It says, surely there is an end. You know, there is something I always say on Facebook Live that that thing is called a problem because there is a solution. If there is no solution, it will not be called a problem. Glory to Jesus Christ. And the Bible makes us to understand in Corinthians, it said that it said there is no temptation that will come to you that God has not created an escape route for you. So, which means that thing that you are going through right now is because you have the capacity, you have the ability, you have the grace to carry it. The Bible said, and God taught Satan in Job chapter 1. He said, have you seen my servant Job? Why did God say that? Because God knows who Job was. Because God knows that Job will not fail him. That is why God, whatever you are going through right now, is because you have that ability, you have the capacity to carry it. Listen to me. If you don't have the ability and the capacity to carry it, God will not allow it to come to your way. Because the word of God will never, never be thwarted. Will never, never be changed. It can never never be adulterated because the word of God says in Corinthians it said that temptation that is bigger than you God will never allow it to come to you so whatever you are going through now is because you are able to carry it and that is why where we read say it said surely there is an end I don't know what you are going through right now but I came out this night to tell you that surely there is an end and your expectations shall not be cut short cut off what are you expecting in life? Are you expecting a breakthrough in your business? Are you expecting a breakthrough in your ministry? Are you expecting a breakthrough in your marriage? Are you expecting a breakthrough in, 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 in any area of your life? Yes, that expectation will manifest. That is it. That is what God is telling you this evening. That is why I love a place in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. It said, he is the rewarder of those that diligently seek him. 
Glory to Jesus Christ. He is the rewarder of those that diligently seek him. The Bible said, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard it. Neither has it come to the understanding of man what the Lord has in stock for those that love him. Glory to Jesus Christ. So no matter what you are going through right now in life, the one, where, what, where we read says, surely there is an end. And once the end comes, it's nothing but a stepping stone to a next level. Once the end manifests, it's nothing but a stepping stone to greatness. Once the end manifests, it's nothing but a stepping stone to a new level. Once the end manifests, it's nothing but a stepping stone to the manifestation of your expectation. That is why you must not give up in life. That is why you must not give up in that thing that you are believing God for. That is why I always say it on Facebook. Whatever that you are going through in life, do not focus on what what you are going through but rather focus on what God have told you about you what you are going through must not determine your expectation what you are going through must not determine what your conclusion about your life but rather what you are going through right what you should have inside of you should be strong Strong within you is what, what God has said about you, who God has destined you to be. I celebrate you, woman of God, prophetess Robin, Will, Robin Brown. Thanks for joining. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. It says, surely there is an end. Yes, surely there is an end. I didn't say it. We read it from the word of God. And the Bible makes us to understand in Romans chapter 10, verse 17. It says, faith come made by hearing. And what? Hearing the word of God. That is why I came out this evening to tell you what the Lord has said about you. The Lord said that surely there is an end to that thing that you are going through right now. The Lord said I should tell you that surely there is an end and the end has come and nothing can stop it. The Lord said I should tell you that your expectation shall not be cut, cut off. The Lord said I should tell you that that thing that you are expecting to God, that thing that you are expecting from God is coming to manifestation in a higher dimension. The Lord said I should tell you that 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 temptation, that trial you are going through is nothing but a stepping stone to your greatness. The Lord said I should come out and tell you this evening that that issue that you are going through right now is to announce you to the world so that the world will come and serve that God that you are serving. The Lord said I should tell you this evening that that thing that you are going through is nothing but a testimony that wins souls into the kingdom of God. The Lord said I should come out this evening and tell you that that thing that you are going through, that everybody is looking as an issue that they are mocking you with now, that they have tagged you with now, that is nothing but a stepping stone to your greatness. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. The Bible said, surely there is an end. What is that thing that is making you to fret? What is that thing that is making you to feel is over? What is that thing that is making you to feel this mountain has become like a mazanya that can never be moved? No. That is why I like the story of the woman with the issue of blood. The Bible says she had so much expectation. That I celebrate you, the son of my father, Bena, brother Bena, God bless you. Uh, hallelujah to Jesus. Do you know that there were so many people that came to that, to, that, uh, to that place where Jesus was ministering? But the Bible only recorded the woman with the issue of blood. Why? Because she, was, she came with so much expectation. And the Bible said her expectation will never be cut off. That is why when a lot of people they go to church today, they just they go to church the way they go to church and go back home the way they went, they enter church. Why? Because they did not go to church with enough expectation. In fact, they did not carry, they did not leave the house with so much expectation. Listen, when you leave your house or when you are reading the word of God or when you are praying, you should have the kind of expectation that is a settled matter. Glory to Jesus Christ. You must not allow whatever that is in front of you to determine how far you will go. You must not allow that thing, that issue that is standing in front of you, looking at you to determine how far you will go. Because what should determine how far you will go is what God has said about you. And the Bible says, surely there is an end. That thing that is standing, that, that issue that, 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 that are taking so long, that has become something that, is, that, 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 that some people now see you, they now call you by the name. The Bible said the woman with the issue of blood, does it mean that she doesn't have a name? She has a name, but she was not called because of the condition she has found herself. I don't know the name they are calling you right now, but I came out to tell you this evening, I came out to prophesy into your life that there is an end to that 
to that image, to that wrong personality image that they have given to you because of what you're going through. Glory to Jesus Christ. The Bible says, surely there is an end. Hallelujah. Surely there is an end. That ministry that looks like it's not going to break forth, surely there is an end. And it's going to break forth. And your expectation is for it to break forth and it's going to break forth. Hallelujah to Jesus. That sickness that has now, that now looks as if it's not going to end. The Bible says surely there is an end. And it's going to end and your expectation which is healing is going to manifest in a higher dimension. Hallelujah to Jesus. That marital issue that looks like issue that will never end. The Bible said I should tell you that it has to, today marks the beginning of the end of that issue. And your expectation of a marital settlement, your expectation of peace in your marriage begins today. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. Glory to God. If you look at the story of, the, of blind Bartimaeus, he was not the only blind man that was in that place. But he was the one that, that, that came with a, with, with a high expectation. He was the one that was shouting, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy upon me. Why? Because, she, he, why? because he was expecting something. He was expecting to receive his sight. God bless you, Sister Ivy. I celebrate you for joining. Glory to God. Please, as you join me this evening, kindly share the video because a lot of people need to hear this message. Today in Boldness in Christ Jesus topic say let hope be your rope. Let hope be your rope. Don't let that situation be your rope. Don't let that, 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 that delay be your rope. Don't let that issue be your rope. Don't let that, that manipulation be your rope. But rather let hope in Jesus Christ. Let hope in God be your rope. Glory to Jesus Christ. Kala Bradosha. The Bible said blind Bartimaeus cried and said Jesus. That son of David, have mercy upon me. Why? Because he was expecting to receive from Jesus Christ. And that thing that you are expecting to receive from Elohim, this evening, it will manifest in a higher dimension in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That your expectation will never, never be cut off. That expectation is going to manifest in your life in a higher dimension in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I wrote a few things down. I say, if you, if you look at what the Bible says in Daniel chapter 11, verse 32, it said, those who know their God shall what? Do exploit. Those who know their God shall what? Do exploit. When you know who the, when you know how powerful your God is, that is when you can do exploit. When you know how great your God is, that is when your, that is when they manifest, that is when your exploit will manifest. When you know who, how great your God is, when you focus more on your, when you focus only on your, on the God you are serving and not on the issues in your life, you listen, you will do exploit. I wrote, I wrote down, I say exploit. Is making use of or deriving benefit from utilizing or taking a bold step. That place where I just quoted in Daniel chapter 11, verse 30, you say, Those that know their God, they shall do what they shall do, exploit. Because when you know the kind of God, when you know how powerful your God is, when you know the God you are serving, that is when you will break forth in every issues you are going through in life. Hallelujah to Jesus. I wrote another place down in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 to 6. It said, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding and in all thy ways acknowledge him. One of the things that you must work on, one of the things that you must acknowledge, that if you want your expectation not to be cut, cut off, you must do what? You must le not lean on your own understanding. You must make sure in all your ways you acknowledge God. You, the Bible said the steps of the righteous are ordered by the Lord. That means that the, you, there is no way you cannot stand on your own without the help of God. That is why your hope, your, that is why I said today's topic, say, let hope be your rope. Your hope is God must be your rope. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. A lot of things that is happening in each and every one life today is because we have decided to fight it on our own. 
If the Bible said, in all our ways, acknowledge him. That means even before you start whatever you want to do, acknowledge God. Even in the midst of it, acknowledge God. In the process, acknowledge God. No matter what you are going through, acknowledge God. If you look at the life of David, David succeeded because right from, because the Bible said he was rejected from the womb. But, it, but David did not for one day. Lean on his own understanding. He was always acknowledging God in everything that he was going through in life. Today's topic says, let hope be your rope. Don't throw away the towel right now. Because surely there is an end to that issue. That thing that looks like Mazzano that, shall never, that can never be moved. Yes, the Bible said, if your faith is as small as the mustard seed, it can move mountains. So another second thing that you must acknowledge in your process in your process in life you must make sure that your faith must you must make sure that your faith works stronger and not works cold because it's your faith that is the target whatever you are going through in life I, I, I told somebody, was it not yesterday or day before yesterday? I said, whatever, when I, whatever I have went through in life or when I was going through issues, so much issue in life, I said, I told myself, I said, is this Bible that I'm holding that they want to take? I told myself, I said, Joy, acknowledge one thing. Whatever that you are going through in life is not just because of your life, but it's because of this Bible that you are holding on to. As I told the person, I said, that was what I told myself. And I said, the Bible will never be dropped. The Bible will never be taken from my hand. No matter the issue that I'm going through in life, my Bible remains with me. The word of God remains with me. The faith, my faith in God remains with me. My hope in God remains with me. My belief in God remains with me. My, 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 I, 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 no matter the trials, no matter the temptation, I said, I will never let any issue that I'm going through in life Take away my Bible. No matter what you are going through in life, it's the strong belief that you have in God that they are fighting. It's not your money. It's not anything. Is that your strong belief in God that they are fighting? Is that your hope in God that they are fighting? Is that your that, that belief, that your faith in God that they are fighting? Glory to Jesus Christ. I said something in church on, I think on Wednesday. God bless you, Sister Natasha. Thank you for joining. God bless you. Please, as you join, kindly share this video. I said something in church on Wednesday. I said, there is something we Christians should acknowledge. That... When you are going through issues, it's because there is a breakthrough that you are about to enter. That is why the devil is coming up with one temptation, with one trial, with one trouble, with one issue. I said, look at the story of Jesus Christ. The Bible said Jesus was, was in 40 days and 49. He fasted for 40 days and 49. Satan did not come on the first day. He did not come on the 15th day. He did not come on the 20th day. He did not come on the 30th day. He did not come on the 39th day. It was on the 40th day. And if you look at what he tempted Jesus with, it was what Jesus came to take from him. He said, if you bow down to me, he said, look at the whole world. If you bow down to me, I'll give you the word. Was that not why Jesus came? Jesus came to this earth to take the key from him. And that was exactly the same thing that Satan wanted to tempt him with. And that is why you must never ever give up in life. Don't ever settle for less. Never. Because that issue that you are going through right now is to make you compromise your faith. I preach a message titled, I, my, my condition will never change my confession. I preached a message some time ago. I said it is God or nothing. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. The Bible said where we read, it says surely there is an end. I always say this thing on Facebook Live. Whenever you, you are going through issue, remember where you came, the ones you, you've been through and that you came out from. Whenever you are going through any issue in life, remember, even remember the family you came out from, the kind of family battle you went through and you are still alive. Remember the issues of life you went through when you were young and you are still alive. 
Remember the issues you went through in life and you, are, and you came out of it. So what is it now that you think that you cannot come out of it? I celebrate you, the son of my father, Apostle Precious. God bless you. Thank you, sir, for joining. Glory to Jesus Christ. Today's topic in, on boldness in Christ Jesus says, let hope be your rope. Let hope be your rope. That means focus on where you are going. Focus on your expectation. Focus on who God has destined you to be. Focus on who God has called you to be. Focus on the word that God told you about yourself. That is why I always say it's very important to have a personal encounter with Jesus Christ. It's very important to know who you are. It's very important to know that place. If you look at the word of God, the Bible says when Jesus entered the temple, he opened the word of God and went straight to what God has said about him. The Bible says he quoted the place and said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has this, he has that, he has that, he has this. And to set the, set the captive free, to heal the sick, to set and immediately he finished quoting who God has destined him to be. That was where he started his ministry. Number one thing you must do to make sure that you can make, make hope to be your role is to know who you are. Know who you are. Because when you know who you are, nothing shakes you. When you know who you are, nothing moves you. I always say it in church. I say, look at me. People might say I'm stubborn. Yes. I say, because nothing moves me, nothing shakes me. That's who, that's who I have, I have built up myself to be. That nothing can shake me and nothing can move me. Why? Because I know who God has created me to be. Why? Because I have, I'm going somewhere. So for that reason, whatever the devil is bringing my way, I see it as a stepping stone. And that is what I came out this evening to tell you. Whatever you are going through is nothing but a stepping stone to your greatness. Is it in, the, is it in your ministry? Is it in your financial life? Is it in your business? Where we read, says, surely there is an end. And there is an end. And once that end comes, your expectation will never be cut, cut off. I don't care to know what Satan has, what Satan is making you to go through. I don't know the stones he's throwing at you. I don't know the, 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 the roadblock he's bringing. I don't know the temptation he's bringing. I don't care to know what he's doing. But one thing I want you to know this evening, that God said I should tell you that surely there is an end and that your expectation shall never be cut off. Your expectation shall never be cut off in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That which you are expecting from God to manifest in your life, I fast forward your life into it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It's a blessing that you are expecting from God. I fast forward your life into your blessing. Is it, is it testimony? I fast forward your life into your testimony. Is it breakthrough? I fast forward your life into your breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Is it breaking forth in marriage? I fast forward your life into it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because the Bible said your expectation shall not be cut off, cut off in the mighty name of Jesus. You are breaking forth and you are breaking through. You are entering into the next level. Whether Satan likes it or not. Whether power from your father's side, from your mother's side likes it or not. Whether the territorial demon of where you are likes it or not. Whether power from the underworld likes it or not. Whether the warlocks, the witches, the wizards, your cottic, the Marine, the, the, the power from the earth, from the land, from the sea. Native doctor shrine power, strong man, strong woman power likes it or not. You are breaking forth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because your expectation shall never be cut off. Because your expectation shall never be cut off. I stand upon the word of God to make that decree in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are breaking forth, you are breaking loose. You are breaking forth, you are breaking loose in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Look at the story. Look at the story, I, I, I think in uh, Nehemiah, glory to God. Upon all the mockery, upon all they said about him, upon every word, all the negative words that we are saying, he did not allow his expectation to be cut off. He did not allow anything to distract him. Another thing you must acknowledge in life is to avoid distraction. Yes. Do you know that when you are going through issues, you have two kinds of people. The one that will be discouraging you and the ones that will be encouraging you. I celebrate you, my darling Onyeme. Thank you for joining. God bless you. Yes, you must avoid distractions because Satan knows how to distract. Yes, look 
at what I like where I like the story I said about Jesus Christ after 40 days and 40 nights of fasting and prayer Satan came at the, on the last day dying minute to try to distract him trying to make him that is why I said something in church yesterday I, I, on Wednesday I said why you must keep on pressing on is because when you fall back you have to start all over again I gave an example. I said it's just like somebody, your greatness in the third story building. And you started climbing. You climbed the first one. When you got to the second story building, the st second uh, story building, and you said you are tired, you now went down. And your greatness is on the third floor. You must, if you go down, you must start all over again. That is why you must keep on pressing on. Don't ever give up. Hold on to the word of God that says, surely there is an end. That thing that you are going through will end one day. It's ended today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And your expectations shall never be cut off in the mighty name of Jesus. Listen, keep on pressing on and you will break forth. There is something my father says, say persistent break resistance. Yes, when you persist, you break the resistance. Glory to Jesus Christ. When you persist, you break the resistance. But when you don't persist, you won't break the resistance. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. Let me just say one of few things that I wrote down. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said, glory to God. I said, no matter the issue that you are going through in life, now what you must focus on is the testimony and not the impossibilities. Hallelujah. Focus on the testimony that is going to come out from that issue that you are going through. Yes. Be picturing the testimony. Be picturing the day you are going to testify. Be picturing the source that your testimony is going to want going into the kingdom of God. That should be your focus too. And not the impossibilities. Not that issue that you are going through. Because there is something, uh, there is something I said some time ago. I said the more you focus on the problem, the bigger it becomes. But the day you make up your mind to take your eyes off it, the problem will get tired of you. I think I wrote something on Facebook a few days ago. I said, be so stubborn to the extent that Satan will start advising his demon to stay away from you because you are nothing but a bad market to his kingdom. Be so stubborn to the extent that no matter what Satan will throw to you, you will, you will shake your body and use it as a stepping stone so that he will start telling his demon, listen, this woman, this man is, not, is, is nothing but a bad market to his kingdom. Make sure you build yourself to that level. Make sure you build yourself to that level in life that nothing moves you, nothing shakes you. The only thing that should move you, the only thing that should shake you is your, your, your vision in life. The only thing that you should focus on is your vision in life, where you are going through and not the issue. Your focus should be on your vision and not the issue. And that your vision will manifest in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I didn't say the word of God said it. He said your expectation shall not be cut off. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you look at the story of this man called Ajarius. It was because he knew he was expecting Jesus to heal his daughter. The Bible said even when they told him that the, 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 the little girl is, was already gone. Jesus told him, say, focus on your faith. Hold on to your faith. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. Yes. If you hold on to your faith, you will break forth in life. In as much as I'm talking about let hope be your rope, you must make sure I always say something on Facebook Live. You have a part to play. That is the truth. You have a part to play. Yes. For God to do anything you want that, that, that you want in life, maybe it's just like somebody that is praying for prosperity. You have a part to play. If you are looking for a job, you need a CV. You have to prepare a CV. You have to go out there and look for a job. As far as, as in as much as you are praying, God help me. God give me a job. God give me a miracle job. But you have a part to play. You have to make sure that you have a CV. You have to make sure that you go out there and, and share your CV in different companies so that they, they can also see the CV. The only thing you have to do, pray on it and share it. That you are indoor, pray God give me a job. You don't have a CV. You don't go out there to look for a job then how will it manifest hallelujah to jesus christ you have a part to play 
for your expectation not to be cut off. You have a part to play for that issue to come to an end. You have a part to play. That is the truth. You must build yourself in fasting and praying. You must build yourself, build your hope. You must build that the physical aspect that you have to handle. You must handle it. It's just like somebody that is praying, Lord, I, I, I need a breakthrough in my business. You have to put some, you have to put physical effort in it. And as you are praying for the spiritual manifestation in that business, you also have to put a physical effort in it. You can't be praying, God, I want my business to excel. And you are indoor, you are not putting effort in your business. You are just waiting, expecting your business to grow. You, in fact, you didn't even start the business. In fact, you are not putting effort. You are not even going out to advertise your business. You are not even letting people to know the kind of business you are doing then how will it work hallelujah to jesus christ you have a part to play that is why a lot of people today you know we have always uh in christianity we have always made people to feel once you give your life to christ you just start to blossom you have a part to play it's just like when you give your life to Christ, you start from the meek level. From the meek level, you enter the meat level. From the meat level, you enter the bone level. What does that mean? You have to work. You have to work on it. Gradually, you start growing. Gradually, you start growing. You must make sure that passion for the word of God in you increase daily. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. Today's topic say, let hope be your rope. Not the problem. Not the issue that is facing you, but rather let hope, let your faith be your hope. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in as much as you are praying to God for a breakthrough, also do the physical aspect. Hallelujah. I know that the spiritual controls the physical. Yes, it's what the Bible makes us to understand. But you have a part to play. Glory to God. Today's topic says, let hope be your rope. And where we read in Proverbs 23 verse 18, it says, surely there is an end. Surely there is an end. You will not end up in that issue in life. That issue will not see your end. But you will see the end of the issue. That problem will not see your end, but you will see the end of the problem. That issue, that I don't care to know whatever it is, but I know that your expectation will never be cut off in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Uh, please, if you have not liked my page, kindly like my page and click the follow button so that whenever I'm on Facebook Live like this, you will just you will get the notification. And I've made up my mind that by the mercy and grace of God, I'm not going to be taking much of your time. Hallelujah. And I, I made up my mind that by the mercy of God, by the grace of God, the Bible said the spirit, the, the spirit of the prophet is subject to the prophet. It's on that the subject to the prophet. Yes. So it's going to be one hour and nothing more than one hour. Glory to Jesus Christ. Before we go into prayers, because we are going to pray. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray. I don't know what you are going through, but I know today marks the end of that thing. And your expectations, manifestations start this evening. Glory to God. If you know you have not given your life to Christ, I want you to pray this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. I repent of my sin. I yield myself to you, Lord, as a loving sacrifice. With my heart, I believe that you died on the cross of Calvary for my sake. And with my mouth, I believe that you rose on the, from the grave on the third day. You are welcome to the body of Christ. And please, kindly go to the nearby Bible-believing church near you because you have to grow. And uh, glory to God, our uh, branch here, Grace Nation, Victoria Gastez branch, we have a new hall. Hallelujah. We, have a, uh, we are now in a bigger hall, a hall that is three times bigger than where we used to be. Glory to God. Uh, I don't know how God did it, but I know God is so faithful in all his ways. That is why today's topic say let hope be your let hope be your rope. Glory to God. So if you are in Victoria Gastes and its environs, kindly join us tomorrow in our new hall uh, in Sansomedi. Glory to God, in Victoria Gastes, Sansomedi. Uh, very close to after the roundabout is bus five, the last bus stop of bus five, opposite RD. 
behind Repsol. Glory to God. When you just come down from that uh, last bus stop of verse 5, you just see the uh, pavilion is right there behind Repsol. Glory to God. If you live in Victoria, Gastes, and it environs, kindly join us tomorrow, and your life will never remain the same in the name of Jesus Christ. And please, the Bible said we should not forsake the gathering of the brethren. Tomorrow is Sunday, but if your place is still on lockdown, please kindly respect and obey the law. And please, if you are coming to our church tomorrow, don't forget your fake mask is obligatory. So please come with your fake mask. And very soon, by the mercy and grace of God, we are going to start different programs. And uh, you'll be seeing the flyers on Facebook and you all are... Uh, you all are invited in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. And uh, before we go into prayer, I would just want to share one word with you this evening. No matter what you are going through in life, don't let it make you worse cold in life. Don't let it make you lose hope. That thing that you are going through is nothing but a stepping stone to your greatness. That thing that you are going through is nothing. But a, a, an, a, I'll call it an examination to show that you are qualified for the next level. Glory to Jesus Christ. I don't know what you desire right now, but I pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that from this night, the, your expectation will never be cut off. From this night, you will begin to see the manifestation of that which you desire most in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Is it financial breakthrough? I pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus for divine financial breakthrough in the name of Jesus Christ. Is it documental issue? That same God that gave me, that gave me Spanish passport, the same God that gave me European nationality. I pray that that same God should enter your case and give you that document in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If God can do it for me, he can also do it for you. If, if, if is it passport that you are seeking for, may God give it to you in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are, any country where you are, I pray that the same God that settled my, my case will settle your case. The same God that made me a European citizen will give you that country passport, that country resident permit that you desire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Is it marital settlement? May God settle you. Is it business? May God settle you. Is it healing? The Bible said, by the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. Receive your healing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That thing that you are expecting, I pray for the manifestation in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to pray just two prayer points this evening. Because I, I, I believe I have just eight minutes. Begin to appreciate the name of the Lord. Begin to honor him. Begin to exalt his holy name. For him alone is worthy to be praised. He is the omnipotent God. He is the omniscient God. He is the ancient of days, the consuming fire. Begin to bless his holy name. Begin to exalt his name. Begin to bless God. For this word that you have heard this evening, begin to exalt his name. Malaga, shigada, baga, zegede, brata, shindebosh. Lege, zondo, brash, kendele, kanama, shata. That same God that changed the story of Anna is right here to change your story. Begin to appreciate the name of the Lord, Mashagada Bosha. Lige zondo lekata shakata la baga zondo. Ma lege zondo brash kende lega zondo. The song says he's not a late God. He's never late. Hala bragadosha. He will never be late in your matter in the name of Jesus Christ because he's never late. He has never failed anyone I know. He's always on time. Kala bradosha. Begin to appreciate the name of the Lord. Begin to honor him. Begin to exalt his holy name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jagadabosha. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Kala bragadosha. That is the only language that Satan doesn't understand. Mashidadabosha. Ragazon, ragazon, ragazon. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray the first prayer point, which says, Every wrong doors that have opened, knowing and unknowingly, that is affecting my speed in life, I close you up by fire. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. Any wrong door, do you know that there are some open doors that are not godly? There are some open doors that are nothing but a trap. Say, my father, my fighter, my father, my maker, any wrong doors that have opened knowing and unknowingly or that have entered knowing and unknowingly by the fire of the Holy Ghost, 
I close you in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to close every wrong door. Every wrong door that has been opened, that you have entered knowing and unknowingly. Every wrong door of delay. Every wrong door of stagnancy. Every wrong door of setback. Every wrong door of rising and falling. Every wrong door of lack. Every wrong door of stagnancy. Begin to close them in the name of Jesus Christ. Every wrong door that has been opened to cause delay in your expectation by the fire of the Holy Ghost, we slap the door closed. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, we slap the door closed. In the name of Jesus Christ, wherever the door was projected from, from the four corners of the earth, from the element of the earth, from the witchcraft coven, from the occultic world, from the marine kingdom, from any native doctor shrine, from any road junction, from any market square, from any ancestral altar, from your father's side, from your mother's side, we command that door that wrong door that is affecting your life and destiny, we command it to be closed in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to close all the wrong doors. All the wrong doors that is make, that have made you to, to stay long in that issue. Begin to close it. Wrong doors of doubt. Wrong doors, open doors of fear. Begin to close them. Begin to close the wrong doors in the name of Jesus we slap them close. We close them by the fire of the Holy Ghost. We close every wrong doors. We close every wrong doors. Every wrong doors that we thought that we had open doors from God. We close them in the name of Jesus Christ. Mashigada baga zegede brakata shata. Ikala baga zondo buskandele. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray one more prayer point. Hallelujah. When we read the Bible says, surely there is an end. Hallelujah. Surely there is an end. If the thing has lingered on, that means there is a spirit of delay. If the thing has lingered on, that means there is a spirit of stagnancy. If the, you know, there is something that I said on Facebook some time ago. I said when an issue becomes issue of more than three, four, five, six years, it's no more. It's no more a normal thing. No, it has become an affliction, and you must handle it very well. Say, my father, my fighter, my father, my maker. Every spirit of delay. I am not your candidate. I terminate your assignment over my expectation. I terminate your assignment over my testimony. I terminate your assignment over my breakthrough. You spirit of delay, delaying my breakthrough in ministry, delaying my breakthrough in business, delaying my breakthrough in marriage, delaying my breakthrough in every areas of my life. Begin to command that spirit of delay. Begin to terminate the assignment. The Bible said the woman with the issue of blood was in the issue for 12 years. Zodo. The Bible said the woman was bent for 18 years. Mashigada Bosch begin to pray every spirit of delay. Fighting the manifestation of your testimony. Fighting the manifestation of that thing that you are expecting. Let the fire of God consume that spirit. Is not of God, is not godly. Begin to terminate the assignment of spirit of delay. Every spirit of delay that is projected into your life, begin to command the fire of God to terminate the assignment. Any spirit of delay that has kept you in that spot, every spirit of delay that is making your expectation not to manifest in a hurry, begin to command the fire of God to terminate the assignment in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now we are going to bust open every door of breakthrough. Say, my father, my fighter. Every door of breakthrough, every door of my testimony, every door of my rising, every door of the manifestation of my greatness, I bust you open in the name of Jesus. Begin to bust the doors open. Hey, begin to command that door 
of breakthrough, your door of greatness, your door of increase, your door of manif of your door of, of the manifestation of your expectation that has been shut. Begin to command it to, to open. Open in the name of Jesus. Door of blessing, door of favor, door of breakthrough, door of upliftment, door of speed. I bust you open in the name of Jesus Christ. Mali katon share katon skin de li bragazundo. I kala bagazin de brakata shata la balagazundo buskandele kanama shata. Begin to command those doors to open in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to command the door to open in the name of Jesus Christ. Male katon skin de li bragazundo. I katon shiri gazundo brakata shata. Don't compromise. Don't compromise. Begin to bust the door open. Bust it open. The Bible said, that shall decree it in on earth and it shall be established in heaven. Begin to bust the door open. Mashada. Redes gondo le braga zondo. I katon skende li braga zende. Maleke don skende li braga shata. Your door of breakthrough be open in the name of Jesus. Your door of upliftment be open in the name of Jesus. Your door of favor be open in the name of Jesus. Your door of upliftment be open in the name of Jesus. Your door of document be open in the name of Jesus. Your door of marriage be open in the name of Jesus. Your door of healing be open in the name of Jesus. Your door of marital favor be open in the name of Jesus. Your door of upliftment be open in the name of Jesus. Your door of speed in life be open in the name of Jesus. Your door of blessing be open in the name of Jesus. Calibra gadosha raga zokoto bra ta 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 ta. We command whatever that is holding the door not to open, we command the fire of God to locate it. Is it ancestral power be consumed by fire? Is it marine power be destroyed by fire? Is it Tokoti power be, be destroyed by fire? Is it ancestral altar be consumed by fire? We command that door to be opened. We bust it open in the name of Jesus. The door for the next level in life. The door for the next level in that life. The door of testimony. We command in the name of Jesus. Open by fire. Shakatala bagazo. The Bible said that you shall knock and it shall be open. We command it. Now we are not knocking to open. We are breaking it down in the name of Jesus. Break it down. I said something on Facebook. If it will take you to go through the wall, go through it. If it will take you to pull down the wall, pull it down. If it will take you to break the wall, then break it down. Begin to break the door. That shatter. That door. To your next level. Pull it down. Break it down. Shatter that. Bust it open in the name of Jesus Christ. Now you don't even need the key anymore. Bust it open. Mashakata. Leke zondo brakata shigada bagazinge de brakata shata. Malaka do. You have been knocking on that door for so long. Now you don't need to know. Break it. Break it. Kala bragadosha. Kali bragazo. That door breakthrough. That door of upliftment. Door of favor. We command in the name of Jesus Christ. We bust you open. We bust you open. Ha! Hear ye the word of the Lord. Ma shagada bosha. Legazon do brakata shatala balagazon. That door that you want, that you want to open, that you, you are expecting to open for you. Bust it open now. Begin to mention the name of that door. Mention the door. Mention the door. If it's document door, mention it. Say, I bust you open. If it's marital door, mention it. Say, I Bust you open. If it's financial domination, he said, I bust you open. Yes. The Bible said there is power in the tongue. The Bible said, Who is he in Lamentation 37? Who is he that see it and it shall and come to pass when the Lord has not commanded it? Halabagadosha. Who is that stupid, scattered, confused, battered devil that have commanded the door to be closed? Command the door to open. Mashigada bonsa. Legazondo brakata shata. Umra bagaze de kita shata. What is that negative word? What is that evil declaration that have shut that door? Begin to bust it open. Begin to cancel. Begin to command that door to be open. Is it causes? The Bible says causeless cause shall not stand. Command the cause to be destroyed. The Bible said the, it said the anointing destroys the yoke. Let anointing destroy that yoke now and let that door be open in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. Awesome God he is. He is a mighty one of war. He is the omnipotent God. He is the omniscient God. He is the ancient of days. Glory to God. 
as and many that are going to watch this video later, I pray the same prayer will work for you. I pray the same grace, the same anointing will work for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, wherever you are, wherever you are watching me from, wherever you are going to watch this video from later on, I pray the same prayer will work for you. The same word of God will manifest in your life in a higher dimension like never before. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Listen, God, is, God will never fail. And he can never come late in your life. The Bible said that we should acknowledge the fact that with God all things are possible. And may the power of God manifest in your life in a higher dimension like never before. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Please, if you have not liked and followed my page, please kindly like and follow my page. In, and the Lord will bless you richly. The page is growing so fast. I don't know how God is doing it, but I know it's the mercy and grace of God. Because when I check my friends, you know, Facebook will show you your friends that have, that have liked the page. They are just 400 and something when I have about 5,000 friends. Hallelujah. So where did the 4,000 plus came from? I believe that is the work of God. And please, if you are my friend and you have not liked and followed my page, kindly do so and the Lord will bless you richly. To this topic on boldness in Christ Jesus says, let hope be your hope. You can hear the song. God has never failed anyone that I know. He's always there on time. Let hope be your hope. Not impossibilities. Not negative ways. You know the Bible says there is power in our tongues. We should mind what we say when we are expecting our expectation. So that one will not use this our own mouth to cancel it our own expectation. Let whatever that will come out of our mouth be positive ways. Let whatever that will come out of our mouth be the way that will push us to, push us to the next level. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God bless you till I come your way again. Goodness in Christ Jesus is 7 p.m. Uh, Europe time, Madrid time. 7 p.m. Nigeria time. Uh, 6 p.m. UK time. And uh, 1 p.m. New York time. And uh, I don't know what time is it in Caribbean and in Australia and in Canada. Please, my followers over there, kindly uh, help me to use the New York time or Madrid time to be able to know the actual time when I'm on life. And the Lord will bless you richly. I celebrate you, Sister Evie. God bless you. Thank you for joining. Brother Collins, God bless you for joining. Uh, woman of God, Prophetess Evelyn, thank you for joining. Uh, God bless uh, God bless you, Sister Onyeme. Thank you for joining. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah to Jesus. Awesome God he is. is the omnipotent God. Let me just see if I can see the names. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Please, if I didn't mention your name, God, God knows you by your name. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Thank you all for joining uh, Sister Evelyn, God bless you. I love you. Uh, Sister Sarieme, God bless you. Thank you for joining. Uh, Ma Sheik, Sister Evelyn Usomo, thank you for joining. God bless you. Love you. Uh, God bless each and everyone. Please kindly join me to share the video. And the Lord will bless you richly because a lot of people need to hear this message. Uh, Sister Tiana, Omo Tiana, God bless you. Daughter of Zion, uh, God bless Thank you, Apostle of, of Elohim, Apostle Precious Fusho, the son of my father. Thank you for joining. I see you too, the son of my father. God bless you. God bless you. I celebrate you. You are welcome along with me, Gabi. God bless you. Thank you for joining. Uh, Wanda Charity, thank you for joining. Daughter of Zion, I celebrate you. Please, if I didn't mention your name, don't be offended. God, God knows your name. Till I come your way again next week. Next week, Saturday, on Boldness in Christ Jesus. God bless you. May the Lord uplift you. May the Lord favor you in the name of Jesus Christ. Never, this never late. The song said, God is never late. He was never late in the life of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He was never late for Abraham. 
He will never be late. No matter where you are right now, God is never late. God will show up on time for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Till I come your way again next week Saturday, God bless you. I love you all. Shalom.